Oscar has to pay for what he did. He has to pay for it. Some analysts are doubtful whether Barry Steenkamp's emotional testimony will convince Judge Tokozile Masipa to hand down a harsh sentence. Courts must be objective. So, you know, where the public can be swept up by emotion, courts have to be cautious about, um, you know, placing too much emphasis on the emotional side. But, but certainly it is a significant aspect. His evidence must be considered by the judge. Others believe the testimony could well be the crux of the state's case. When emotion, raw emotion like that, flashes in your face, anybody is touched. I, I could get the, 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 the sense, I could touch the emotion, I could feel it. As you see, as he said there, you could see he was shivering, he tried to put away the bottle of water, he never tried to drink the water. You could see raw emotion. I'm sure the judge is touched. There is no way that you can say after such a thing, you would just ignore it. Attorney Michael Motwening Bull agrees. When we're talking about balancing the interest of society, Barry Steenkamp is a, represent, a big representation of society. And, and when you then have that voice coming out and expressing the hurt and the pain that has been felt, it's something that you've you got to take into account. And when we're talking about the discretion that the judge is ultimately going to be called upon to exercise, this is something that's going to be quite crucial. But Pistorius' brother, Carl, says the Steenkamp's were misled about events on the morning of Reva's shooting. Mr. Steenkamp's testimony today was heartbreaking. A particular heartache for me is that Reva's parents have been made to believe that Oscar intentionally shot Reva. There's been no evidence accepted by any of the courts to support this belief, despite prosecution's best efforts. The state's last witness is expected to give another emotional testimony on Wednesday.